we're live. We're back. We're live. I'm Jay Fidel. It's Monday morning. Back from the weekend. Ah, okay, all right. <laughs> With all kinds of interesting news from the United States Supreme Court this morning. But let's hold up on discussing that. <laughs> I don't want to get sad. <laughs> okay, and this is Community Matters, and we have a special show here today. We're calling it Why Not Consider a Career, a Future in, in Video. And we have a father and son combination. Craig Wagnall, an old friend of ThinkTech, and been on many shows with us. And he's a practicing Thanks. lawyer. Hi, Craig. Hi. Good morning. Thanks for having us here. <laughs> Thank you for having me on the show. Nice job. That's Parker. Parker Hideo Wagnall, uh, Craig's son. So this is a study of um, the connection these guys have to video and the connection they have to ThinkTech. Let's begin with you, Craig. What's your connection? I mean, you, you've been practicing, but somewhere along the line, you got involved in our radio show, probably 2008 or nine, about that. You did a number of radio shows with us, yeah? Well, that's right. I mean, thanks to, thanks to you. And I had done some radio before that. And uh, Oh, that's right, in Japan. Know, yeah. In Japan, in college. And then when I was in Japan, I was a disc jockey for a radio station there and uh, came back. But none of that was the type of talk radio uh, that, that you were doing and sort of that, that my, my foray into that was thanks to you and, and the opportunity through ThinkTech, which was fantastic. And did that show for, what, a little over a year, year and a half or so, and yeah. uh, got a chance to interview a lot of really neat people and uh, uh, really enjoyed it and such. So. Yeah, we did it from uh, my law office. Yes. In the conference room, we had all these wires and microphones. And everything all hooked up in there. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Those were good old days. And just for, you know, just for, to follow that history, from there we went to, let's see, from there, he went to the Davies Building for a video studio, and That's for a right. while we did video and radio. I think you came down a couple of times in that. I did. In that, in that did. Uh, the, the studio there. I uh, did. And you were on the video. It was a and great then time. Recently, you've been around too. You've had some other shows with us recently. Uh, you've given me the opportunity to help interview some people for uh, the triple digit thing for the Bar Association. Yeah. And, uh, oh, and yeah. Things like that. So that's take a moment and talk about that pro project because you were instrumental with that project. That, well, I, you know, I can't take a lot of credit for that one. I, I was very fortunate that uh, uh, you know, that came a couple years after I had served as president of the Bar. And Greg Markham, who was then serving as president, had the idea of honoring uh, during his year. Uh, the people, the, what he referred to as the triple digits, were the, the, the people with only three numbers in their bar number. And by the way, I, I have more than three, <laughs> I have four <laughs> numbers in my bar number. But, uh, but one of my partners, Bernie Bays, uh, who I got the chance to interview along with others, uh, had three digits. I mean, they, they were some of the earlier members of our bar association and, uh, and, and practiced law, you know, back long before I had uh, come to Hawaii and I was in high school and such. But uh, so. I got to be a part of that program, and, and my one of my contributions to that was getting to uh, uh, you know come into Think Tech and, and video uh, these are tapes that are being archived and kept of members of the bar association, these attorneys and their stories. It was, it was fascinating. Yeah, and you were great at it. You're a natural, it's a lot of experience for sure. But I, just so that everybody knows what it was, it was called what the three digit, yeah, the three digit. Um, law program and uh, and it was about the lawyers who only had three digits in their bar numbers there yes Hawaii bar numbers and that means the first 999 lawyers admitted <laughs> in the state that's right but we don't you know even when you say that we don't have all of them many of them have passed away unfortunately and so the, there's a limited number uh, that are still with us or available or haven't moved somewhere way out, out of the state and, and weren't available to participate so that made it even more exciting to do that and then be able to honor them at the annual dinner in, yeah, the, in, yeah. in August. It was, a, what, a year ago, maybe? Yeah, yeah August. A couple of years ago. Yeah. A couple of years, a couple of Augusts ago. It That's was, right. Yeah. That's right. And that was fabulous because uh, we had all, we'd strung together all of those interviews for all those people that were, mm, gee, I would say 50 of them, maybe yes. more and uh, played them little pieces of all it, of them. It was fantastic. And it, not only was it well received, obviously, by those that were essentially being honored, the three digits and such, yeah. but you know, their families were there, their firms were there, their partners and longtime uh, you know, business associates, and the rest of us that may not have known many of these people. That, and they had these stories that made them real people and made them interesting, and, and you appreciated a time of practicing law that was well before when I you know, started practicing. It was, it was great. 
And they were historical figures. Some of them were, you know, larger than life. Some yeah. of them really had an effect on the development of the state, uh, either before or not too long after statehood. Actually. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And, and most recently, you and I collaborated on the Leadership Institute of the uh, Hawaii State Bar yes. Association. Yes. Well, I, I didn't do that much. I was there to just to, you know, help you guys along, and you were monitoring, uh, you know, serving as the, uh, uh, as the monitor and the, and the moderator, I'm sorry, for, for that program, and that was fantastic. And it was extremely well received, of course, by, uh, by each of the members of the Leadership Institute. Yeah. Well, I, uh, let me say that, uh, as, as usual, you presented as a follow-through person. And there are <laughs> two kinds of people in the world. I hope you're listening, Parker. Mm -hmm. Two kinds of people. There's the follow-through people, the ones who follow through and what they're supposed to do, and the others. <laughs> That's the two kinds of people yes. in the world. And you want to be the follow-through. Yes. You <laughs> want to be the follow-through <laughs> If that wasn't That's obvious. Yes, that's the goal. Okay, now, now Parker is a student at Midpac uh, Institute, which yes. is a, a very high-tech school as far as my observations are con concerned. Yeah. In fact, we made a movie there a couple of years ago about the iPad. The, the, somebody gave some, maybe it was the Weinberg Institute, the Weinberg uh, Trust, um, uh, Harry Weinberg, yeah? Mm -hmm, yeah. Gave a, a lot of money to uh, the Midpac Institute in order to, dedicated to um, buying and at mid, uh, for every student got an iPad right. and, and yeah. they would right and and then that changed the school because all of a sudden the students were teaching the teachers <laughs> and the, yes. the teachers yes. really appreciated that but I'd like to I'd like more about about uh, Parker and I wonder if you could this is going to be great I wonder <laughs> if you could introduce your son Craig well, I'd, I'd be honored to introduce my son. I, and I hadn't planned this, so it'll, it'll be uh, off the cuff. But, you know, I, I, I couldn't be prouder. You know, um, Parker is one of these kids. He's an extremely hard worker, he's, and he's very interested in, you know, as we'll talk about it, he's interested in the video stuff. But he's interested in very creative things, which I love. And he has no fear when it comes to, you know, he'll, you know, make videos, he'll do other things that are creative. He's always been an artist. Uh, loves drawing and, and, and such and, and in ways that I, I was never good at and such so I, I envy his talent and such in that. But I also envy uh, his you know, lack of inhibition or, 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 uh, or fear in going into something new. And that isn't, you know, that isn't limited to you know, the, this type of artistic endeavor. I mean, you know, he loves eating and trying new foods. He loves going to new places. He loves challenging himself. I mean, you know, Parker here's ran you know, at 11 and 12 years old, has ran the Honolulu Marathon twice. Wow. No. Whoa. <laughs> He's right here yeah. at this table talking to us. That's pretty <laughs> fantastic. Oh, thanks. Yeah, and he did it fabulous. because he came to me wanting to do it. Um, and I've, I've ran the marathon a number of times, and I, I'd said, well, you know, you're, you're a little young. This is a little early for you, you know. He said, I really want to do it. And I said, well, if you're going to do it, here's the deal. And we made a pact. I mean, you, we're going to have to, here's the training plan. Here's the schedule. You need to follow all this. And if you're willing to do that and put in that effort, if you complain or you don't like it, you say, that's fine, we won't do it. But that's, that's the, the give and take. You have to put into it, and you have to, um, and if at any time you decide you don't want to do it, we never need to do it, so that's fine, we won't. Uh -huh. He made it. Every, every run, he, he never complained, he worked hard, and as a result, we had a wonderful, we actually ran it together as a family, my wife, the three of us ran well, it Oh, that's fabulous. Both times. Great. And, but yeah. it tells you something about his, you know, when he wants to do something, he'll put in all kinds of effort to do yeah, it. Yeah. And I really love that about him. So yeah. I don't know if that's a great introduction. There's so much more. <laughs> but it tells you a little bit about the kind of kid he is. Yeah. So, Parker, how much of that do you agree with? Um, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I like trying new stuff. And like this, like, I didn't know what to expect coming into this, but I wanted to just try it out to see what it would be like, because every time like I saw the news, I wanted to like see like how did they do it and how it looked. And right, I'm very impressed like how how everything is like in the studio. Yeah, a fine cool. Swiss clock with all the all the parts engaging with each other. <laughs> and everything knock wood, everything working, <laughs> knock wood. <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, what got you involved in video? I mean, uh, it's wonderful to have a life of creativity, you know? Uh, you, you know, the, the generations before you may not have had these great opportunities, but you do, and you can find yourself in a creative life, actually. Yeah. Well, 
What got me into videos was I was watching a lot of movies and I was wondering like how did it, how did they do it? And then I was watching a lot of behind the scenes stuff. And I was like, there has to, to be like a way to do it. So it started like I started watching videos on how to use Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. Wow. And then those are professional programs already. Yeah. <laughs> but like I was very interested, so every time like I would like take a little step, like I would put the video clips onto the um frame and then I would like practice on cutting a frame and editing it out like deleting it and then after that I moved on to having text on video and then to chroma key and then to a lot of other stuff like motion. <laughs> we need you here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, so the, you're in the eighth grade now huh? Yeah. Go, so when did it all grade. start? Seventh grade, sixth grade, fifth grade, when? Um, the interest started when I was in like fourth grade, third fourth grade. grade. Wow. Yeah, I started, like, I got really interested into it. Okay, let's look at your video. I want to see what it looks like. We have a oh, very okay. short video from Parker. <laughs> let's play it and we can, we can critique it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tech Hawaii, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I really appreciate it. And it's something I really wanted to do. So thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Looks tell just me, like where, you. where did you do that? I did it in my room. Uh, I saved up my money. I saved up, like, I forget, $224. Like, every time I got, like, I'll get money to mow the lawn and stuff. So I'd save up from that, and my goal was to get a green screen that worked. And I started off of nothing. Like, I had this, like, green blanket that I'd use as a green screen. Perfect. <laughs> this dedication here. Yeah. <laughs> and then once I had enough money, I bought this like small film studio. I had my own lights, like it was kind of box light, box lighting. I had two of those, and then I had um, the bar green screen where you would put the green screen on the to hold it up. So then I moved on to that, and I really enjoyed using it. Then I wanted to keep on saving up to get a microphone and start getting better at like doing what I love to do, which is video sales. We're talking about serious commitment here. This is, this is professional already. It is, and, it, and it's taking up a lot of his room. <laughs> so, okay. so the one nice thing is that when you green screen and you do that, you can't see all the mess that's going on behind that, <laughs> which is a, a whole other matter of conversation, which we'll talk about later. But <laughs> well, I'm very impressed. Why, if for no other reason than the, the chroma key we saw in that short clip. That was really good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, it looked like you were there in that in that background. It's terrific. Uh, thanks. I, I tried my best. Like, there would always be some grainy area, so I'd have to like turn up the green screen and turn sure. down like the transparency of it. Yeah. Now, yeah. how did you learn this much? You, you looked at uh, YouTube uh, movies. What did you read I books? What at, did you do? Well, I looked at YouTube, and then at Midpac. They have this course called Digital Media that you could take, uh -huh. and they helped me. They introduced me to using, like, better stuff and like, like turning it up the way like you need to, mm -hmm. and teaching you step by step. And it was very simple at the beginning, but you would learn, and it was kind of like a building block. So I learned from that, and then I moved hey, on to. Are you teaching there yet? Are you part of the no. faculty? No, yeah, it's coming soon. Uh, but you're part of Craig's faculty. Your dad, you teach him, don't you? Oh, he teaches oh. me all the time. I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> but I can tell you as a parent, one of the challenges a lot of particularly with this new technology and all, all the games and all the other things are, you know, I, I, I worry about, well, how much time are we spending on this stuff? You know, how much screen time do we have? And every, I mean, I think every parent ch is challenged sure, with that one. Sure, sure. But I'm, I'm more inclined and, and desire to see him expending his energies doing things like this. I mean, if he wants to make videos and play with them and all that, I don't have the same issue with that as I do if we're just sitting around playing a game, you know, shoot 'em up game or something. Right. I mean, this is uh, his form, this generation's form of drawing or, or, or other artistic type talent. And so it's, it's, to me, it's kind of exciting and I enjoy seeing him doing that. I don't have the same problems with that that I might <laughs> if, if we were spending our time doing other things with his <laughs> iPad, so. Okay, we've, now we've, we've seen a little about how this works. Yeah. We're going to take a short break. Okay. We're going to come back. We're going to find out what your future is going to be in video and how you're going to make uku bucks doing video and how you're going to support your parents later and, and make them feel happier than they've ever felt before. 
We ready for that? That sounds fantastic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Aloha. I'm Tim Apichaw, host for Moving Hawaii Forward, a show dedicated to transportation issues and traffic. We identify those areas where we do have problems in the state, but also the show is dedicated to trying to find solutions, not just detail our problems. So join me every other Tuesday on Moving Hawaii Forward. I'm Tim Apichella. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm DeSoto Brown, the co-host of Human Humane Architecture, which is seen on Think Tech Hawaii every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. And with the show's host, Martin Despang, we discuss architecture here in the Hawaiian Islands and how it not only affects the way we live, but other aspects of our life, not only here in Hawaii, but internationally as well. So join us for Human Humane Architecture every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. Bingo, we're back. We're back, <laughs> back with Craig Wagno and his son Parker, and we're having a wonderful time exploring the future of a career maybe in video because he's already catapulted himself over the, the past three or four years. Amazing. Okay, so how do you see the future in this? I mean, it, uh, is it too early for me to ask, are you going to make a career in this? Is that where you're going? Well, that's my goal because I want to make a career into something that I love doing, and that's one of my hobbies. So I would love to, like, do that for a living. Okay. You realize there's many sides to it. It's not just the technical side of producing yeah. the video. You've got to get the content. You've got to find yeah. guys like you who, and who you can talk to and who talk back at you. You've got to find news. You've got to read the paper every day. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what side of it do you like best? Sorry. You like the technical side, you like the content side, you like the dissemination oh. side. I like the technical side mostly because like I love doing that and I also love content because like I love because sometimes I storyboard my sketches. I knew we were going to get the storyboard. <laughs> of course we're going to get What is a storyboard? Tell the people what a yeah, storyboard is. So a storyboard is when you have an idea so you have a start to end so all movies have it, and it has a long list of everything that happens so that you don't go, like, shooting blanks. Right. Exactly. Uh, have you told your father about these things? Does he understand what a storyboard is? Actually, he's the one who came up to me with doing a storyboard. <laughs> I never did a storyboard before he told me. Well, that, and, and he's been able to use, and Midpack has been fantastic about this, because they have a number of courses where the assignments or the, the things, they have an opportunity to use different media to do, you know, you could write a, a, an essay or you could present it via video or you could do it in another, you know, in, in some other way. And he's a number of times elected to do that by video. When he did that, uh, I think what we found was that, uh, you know, it started out and he had an idea, but it was this gem or this kernel of an idea that really didn't have the direction set out I said, well, that's, that's where storyboarding comes in. You need to sit down and say, here's what I'm going to shoot. Here's where we're going to go with this. Do I want to do it all right here, or do we want to do this and then move to this? Wow. And so we made some videos where we moved, changed location in the house, where we used the green skiing, other places we didn't. It was actually really fun. But once we had that storyboard out, then we knew, okay, now we're going to do this. We also realized you can shoot you know, this part, this part, this part, you know, three parts, and then you know, mix things around afterwards and such. So yeah. if we have three parts of the green screen, we can do all those at once, even though they won't be right next to each other. You know, I definitely think you should include your father in your movie company in Los Angeles. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you should bring him in, you know, to, into the management at a high level, you know. Yeah. Or, I'll pay him well. Thank <laughs> you. If, if you do that, that'd be great. It's a future for you. <laughs> so have, you know, creativity. I mean, your dad's a lawyer. And for lawyers, creativity is sort of contained. I mean, it's... it's it's a limited box of creativity. <laughs> you can't go too far outside the box, I think. But, but for a person in film, I mean, the world is your oyster. You can do anything. So how do you see creativity? How do you see the expression of creativity for your own self now and later? Well, I see creativity as, like, it's unlimited. And, like, I love pulling ideas. And, like, sometimes I'll say, like, oh, that's not a good idea, but then if I like the idea, I'll keep on working on it, and if it doesn't work, I'll do the whole thing. Sometimes, like, my ideas go so crazy, I have to shoot, like, 20 times to get it right. But, like, 
I love like being creative like that and finding new ideas because there's unlimited ideas that you could do. You just need to find them. And yeah, we didn't rehearse okay. this either. Yeah. Yeah, this, is, this is coming spontaneously from Parker. <laughs> I'm really impressed. Well, let's move on though to the idea that uh, for a while this summer, Parker is going to be our, our newest intern, which is fabulous. Thank and, you very um, much. And, I, you. and I'm really delighted with that prospect because he's so dedicated to the subject. What you're doing is what we do in our own way. Um, so um, how is that going to work? Uh, do you have a sense of how it would work for you? And what, what, what do you seek? What do you seek in the experience of being an intern here? Well, anything you need me to do, I can do because like, I will. I like thanks for the chance letting me like come over here and like be an intern because like I don't think that there would be any other job that I'd be that I'd like more than this one because I'm interested in editing and like look looking at a production like become an actual like thing. Oh, <laughs> you know one of the hardest things that we have here is operating the TriCaster and switching. Oh, is that right? You know, video yeah. switching during the show actually creating the broadcast, you know. Mm. And I sense I sense that's that's in your future, Parker. That's mm -hmm. you're gonna be doing that. You're gonna walk interest. away from this internship <laughs> as a broadcast switcher person. Ah. Top of the line. Yeah. And I'm, I'm Ray, I'm talking to Ray, our engineer. Yeah. Ray, I hope you remember this conversation. <laughs> Well, that's, that's quite a skill. So, I mean, the chance to even just learn about it and see how it's done and, and uh, such, I'm, I'm excited for him to have that opportunity. Well, what do you expect for, for Parker from this experience? I mean, so, so that I know and that he knows. Well, boy, that's, I mean, the, the biggest challenge with that is this is his first experience like this. You know, at, at 13, he hasn't had part-time jobs. He hasn't done that. And we've talked about we're treating this, you know, this is a job. I mean, this is a part-time job, and I want him to... To, to learn and, and act as if it is and, and, and pitch in and, and learn. But I also, I, I hope that he is able to absorb all about this area that he shows such an interest in, such a passion for, and that if he takes from that and, and is able to sort of parlay that into what he's doing at, at home and, and, and such, I, I think that will be very exciting for him. And, and I, you know, as a kid, you all, Everybody had their different areas of interest. Rarely do we have the opportunity to have such a great, uh, you know, uh, internship type experience, and, and I'm so happy for him for that. Well, so video video has turned out to be the most incredible democratized, um, you know, technology that I can think of, because people watch video all around the world. YouTube has made it ubiquitous yeah. everywhere, and so that's what we do, and that's what you. By the way, I, before we go any further. On, what is your YouTube channel so everybody can go watch all your other stuff? Uh, um, it's CGP Productions. And you can go, like, subscribe because I need it. <laughs> <laughs> I give him a thumbs up, right? Thumbs up, yeah. yeah. I give him a thumbs up, okay. Yeah. CGP Productions. Yeah. Okay, all right. How many videos do you have up there? Oh, 6,000. Um, 100 something. Pretty good. Oh. Been busy. Oh, and what kind of videos are they? Well, I'm, I like to make like challenge videos and I also like making like vlogs and um, reaction videos to like try not to laugh videos because like <laughs> I, I love doing those kind of videos. You, and you're playing with people. You want to, you want to, it's like that scene outside Buckingham Palace. We yes. try, try to make the the guy in the funny hat laugh. That's, a, that's exactly <laughs> what it's like, I think, isn't it? Okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm very impressed with that. But I, I'd like to know what you're going to teach us. This is a two-way street, you know, okay. Parker. Huh. What are you going to give us? I mean, what kind of skills are you going to, uh, you know, demonstrate and, and contribute to our effort? We're a nonprofit. We need all the help we can get. Yeah. Oh, um, well, I can't. I, I don't think I can teach you anything that you don't already know. But like, Oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> uh, well, like, I'm just, I just want to try my best because... I just like playing around with it and then I do something that like, I do something that I love to do and then I find out like how I did it and then I keep on doing it for every video. Yeah. And that's why when you look on my channel, every video is always different. Yeah. How about the people side? You know, I was telling you before, there were incredible people that walk through the door and sit at this table. People like your father. People like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
And, and um, I mean, how do you feel about them? Are you going to feel comfortable with them? Are you going to you know, walk up to them and shake their hand and tell them who you are? Yep. Yep. I will. Yep, <laughs> yep. I will. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to ask them questions? Are you going to, for example, find out, draw them out and have them tell you who they are? What are they going to talk about? My favorite question people walk in is, so, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> and they tell me. It just all tumbles out. You can do that, too, because they're a little nervous when they come in, right? Yeah. You ask them that question, and it all tumbles out at you. It's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> and you warm them up that way, see? Yeah. There's a benefit. Yeah. Feel like doing that? Yeah. Okay. All right. There's lots of stuff happening. You know, I, I showed you the three rooms, our reception area, our green room, where we're sitting now. With any background in the world, what is, what is the background? Okay, that That's background, that if you like that background. <laughs> <laughs> and our switching room, which yeah. is where the equipment is and all that. So. We'll run you through all three of those rooms, and you'll have the benefit oh, of all three. Is. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, Parker on YouTube, CGP Productions. Yeah. All right. <laughs> See, we are on it, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but we're almost out of time. So yeah. let me give you the penultimate opportunity to, to see, you know, what, how you feel about this experience for Parker um, and, um, you know, what you think this relationship is going to be like. Well, you know, I, I guess from, from our family standpoint, and I think I can speak on behalf of our whole family about, you know, both how proud I am uh, of Parker, but also how excited I am uh, for him to have an opportunity like this to sort of follow his passions. And, I, you know, I'd encourage, you know, every parent wants this kind of thing, but, you know, I, I, I had asked you, and uh, could he just come in and take a look? I just wanted to be able to see it. I knew that that, that would be so impressive. And um, we're, we're terribly grateful to you for giving him the opportunity to do this externship. And, uh, and I, I, I guess what I'd encourage every family is to, to look for those opportunities like this to get your kid involved in the kinds of things that they like. Um, even, you know, it doesn't matter what level and, and such, and it certainly doesn't here. I mean, anything he does here, he's going to gain from. And I, 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 I'm very excited. And I, I hope that, uh, you know, we can help contribute back and, and be involved with ThinkTech for a long time. I, my involvement great. has been great. Thank you, Craig. I'm going to give you two opportunities now, Parker. The first opportunity is I'd like to get you started on the road to interviewing people. So I want to ask you, I want you to ask your dad one question. Interview okay. your dad. Okay. What question would you ask him? Would you be interested in filming a video with me, like sometime in the future? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very I'm showing, you, I'm showing you the, de the yeah. danger of that one. Yes, you need to, you need to ask something more than a yes or no question. Yeah, but yes, I would love to do that, and I, I think that particularly after this, we're going to have to get together, storyboard, and do something exciting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I got one more one more, more right? thing before we close. Yep. And see that see camera one right out there. Can you talk to camera one? Camera one are all your friends in school, you know, those students, faculty, everybody. Can you, can you make a statement to them and say hi? Sh shout out to Midpack, okay? Okay. Shout out to Midpack. Shout out to Ken and Alex. Thanks for being my friend for a long time, even though I probably did some stuff that made you mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we're going to go, okay. <laughs> you are very creative. <laughs> And, and you are unfettered, and you are curious. Thank you so much, thank Parker. You for we look forward to working Thanks. with you. Thank, thank you, thank you for, for making this I possible. This is <laughs> fantastic. Hug you guys. Yeah. <laughs>